Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Rainbows 2005. Celebrating excellence in our fabulous community. Yeah, let's hear it. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Rainbows 2005. Celebrating excellence in our fabulous community. Yeah, let's hear it. B News is proud to present the Rainbow Awards 2005. We are thrilled you could join us this evening to honor the achievements and contributions from so many in our fabulous community. And now to get us started, put your hands together for the cast of High Five Retwisted from the Exchange Hotel, now celebrating 19 years on Commercial Road. Sensational. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. It is so good to be here at the Rainbow Awards 2005. Look, it is a wonderful evening, and of course, we're thrilled to be honouring the achievements of so many fantastic people in our community here at the Rainbows. Uh, tonight, we'll be honouring many of those individuals and groups who help make our community such a fabulous place. And also, a big hand for one of our special guests, one of our most popular politicians and longtime supporter of our community. Please make welcome to the stage the Honourable John Thwaites, Deputy Premier and Minister for Environment, Water and Victorian Communities. Well, thank you very much, uh, Luke. And it's uh, my pleasure to be here to kick off the Rainbow Awards for 2005. It's about uh, rewarding and acknowledging those people in the community that have made such a great contribution over the last 12 months. Now, last year, uh, I have to say, I lost out to Bert Newton. Uh, what do you say? Uh, and the year before, Rob Hulls won an award. I've never won one. But anyway, tonight I'm up against Kate, Katie Underwood and Rachel Berger, but I'm used to being the bridesmaid. So... <laughs> All I can say is I've had all my friends doing lots of voting, so we'll see how I go. <laughs> but before we put you back in the hands of uh, Luke and Vivian, I'd uh, just shortly like to say on behalf of the Victorian Government, what a great institution the Rainbow Awards are. If you think about it, the winners are just the tip of the iceberg. There are so many other people out there who do so much for the community. And... <laughs> This is certainly a community that knows how to celebrate, and we'll see that tonight. It's a community that knows how to uh, look after each other, and it's a community that I'm very proud to be associated with. So let's get on with the award. Thank you, Deputy Premier, Mr Thwaites. Now... 
please welcome the first of my co-hosts this fine evening, our 2003 Hall of Fame winner and last year's Bitch of the Year, the magnificent Dulcie DuJour. <laughs> Am I on? I'm on. Come on, you can do better than that. Let's it's a big night. Come on. Come on. Gorgeous. You've Dulcie, got to see this is stunning. Who are you wearing? And what did he do to deserve it? Am I on again? <laughs> you are on. I'm on. I think you are. It's just quite quiet. A little more. Oh, there you are. Look at you. Thank you, Chris. I don't like to be quiet, darling. <laughs> All right. Let's sort. I'm up here for an hour. <laughs> Keep me fucking loud. <laughs> no Rainbow Awards could ever be complete, of course, without one of Melbourne's most glamorous stars. We're speaking, of course, of the gorgeous, besides you, the gorgeous Vivian St. James. <laughs> All right, now, Dulcie, it is time to get on with these fabulous awards. So, without any further ado, we are going to do the first award of the evening. And that award is the Young Achiever Award. But before we do that, I'd like to welcome to the stage the sponsor of the award from the Victorian AIDS Council, the VAC President, Kevin Guinea. Come on up, Kevin. Come on down. Oh, hello, darling. Oh, here he is. He's nice and close. Kevin of the Steps. This award is for a youth up to 26 years of age, showing enterprise in the area of business and or community service. The judges wisely eliminated Dulcie from this category. Now, it is sponsored, of course, by the Victorian AIDS Council. So, Dulcie, who are the finalists? The four finalists for the Young Achiever of the Ward are Michael Boucher, tour organiser. Come on. Gemma DeMarco, Melbourne Marching Girls. John Kloprogge from VGLRL and of course Mark Robinson from Minus 18. And the winner is, this is you now. Who is the winner, Kevin? Is Mark Robinson from Minus 18. Oh. Mark Robinson, come on down. Mark Robinson has continued to take Minus 18 from strength to strength 
with an array of parties and special events, including the minus 18 chill out come dance party at Bride March, the seven deadly sins seventh birthday, and the recent white party. Congratulations, Mark. Thank you. Thanks, guys. Look, I really would like to congratulate um, John, Michael and Gemma. They've all done a fantastic job in the last year as well. So a big round of applause for them, please. And look, on behalf of, um, on behalf of a lot of underage youth who can't be here tonight, um, I would like to congratulate everyone who does a win award, um, does win an award. Um, and look, there are many people in this room who do a, a lot for, for Minus 18 and and um, the youth of Melbourne, and you all deserve a really big pat on the back. So thank you very much. Congratulations, Congratulations Mark. Mark. And Which a very works. special thank you to our sponsor, right. Kevin Guinea, and the Victorian AIDS Council. The second award, Dulcie. Oh, the second this award. is the Quiet Achiever Award. Now, this one is sponsored by the Market Hotel. So we would like to welcome to the stage John Wayne, manager of the Market Woo! Hotel. Now look, the Quiet Achiever Award is for the unsung heroes, Dulcie, who work selflessly, who work selflessly for our community. So who are the finalists? The finalists in the Quiet Achiever Award are Brett Hayhoe from Q Magazine, <laughs> Colin Chrysler from Help Out, and the wonderful Dr. Ruth McNair from Fertility Rights. And the winner is Mr. Wayne. Who is it, John? Yank it, yank it, yank it. <laughs> Dr. Ruth McNair. Dr. Ruth Dr. McNair. Dr. Ruth McNair. Apart from being a general health practitioner and lecturer, Ruth is a member of the Victorian Ministerial Advisory Committee on Gay and Lesbian Health, founding convener of the Fertility Access Rights Lobby and Rainbow Families Conferences. Congratulations, Ruth. Oh, look, thanks, everyone. Oh, just this is, this is really fun. I just love being here. I guess this is for the lesbians amongst us and the bisexual women. Congratulations, Ruth McNair, and a big thank you to John Wayne from the Market Hotel, our sponsor of that award. Award number three. Now, it's the best new community event. <laughs> Now, this award, Dulcie, has been sponsored by a bowed nightclub run by Blue Afterglow in St Kilda. So could the award sponsors please make their way to the stage? I'm sure they're here somewhere. They can, Hello. Here we are. Hello. Oh, here. Now, the best new community event, Dulcie, is for a new event on the community calendar that has sparked the imagination of the public, either in its concept or presentation. Who are the finalists? The three finalists for best new community event of the year are Equal Love, <laughs> Minus 18 Dance Space at Pride, and Yak and Dan to Spring Migration. And the winner is... They get me to do everything, don't they? Yeah. And the winner is, for the best new community event, is Minus 18 Dance and Pride. Woo! Minus 18 Dance Space at Pride March. Quite by accident, this group threw one of the best small dance parties of the year when it decided to introduce an incredible mix of music to its chill-out space at the concert following Pride March earlier this year. Accepting the award is Mark again. Um, Thank you again. I was just up speaking to Joy. Look, the dance space at Pride was really not intentional at all. Um, it scared us quite a bit, so it's really nice to, to have been nominated and to, uh, to win it. Thank you very much. Congratulations to the Minus 18 Dance Space at Pride March and a big thank you to Abode Nightclub for sponsoring that award. So next up, we have an entertainment bracket featuring some of the star's finest. To lead us into the star extravaganza, we present the sensational blokes from King Victoria, Chick Magnet, Stanley Nice, Rocco D'Amore and Johnny Gash, followed by the gorgeous Aida and her Lotus Dancers. Let's hear it for the star!
Well, next up, Dulcy, we have the Outstanding Sport Achievement, and this award is sponsored by the Beat Bookshop. So would you please welcome to the stage Tony Pittard from Beat Books, Beat Bookshop. Come right, on down, Tony. Tony. Here he is. That was fast. Okay, Dulcy, the Outstanding Sport Achievement you, is uh, exactly what it says it is. It's all about Outstanding Sport Achievement. So who are the finalists? <gasps> the three finalists at Outstanding Sport Achievement are Adam Francis from Strictly Dancing. QSAM, Queer, Queer Sport Alliance Melbourne. And Peter Sagar from The Argonauts. And the winner is... The winner is... And the winner is... Adam Francis, Strictly Dancing. Adam Francis from Strictly Dancing. Woo! Won Midsummer's Dance Sport Championships with his partner Alexander Bryan, then dazzled the judges on ABC Strictly Dancing, making the grand final. Let's hear it for Adam. Ooh, hello. Thank you very much to everyone. Oh, thank you. <laughs> oh. No, I didn't, uh, didn't expect to receive this sporting achievement, but I'd like to thank everyone who's um, given me and Alex the support that we've had within our dancing career. Um, I'd really like to thank um, Alex, who's helped me um, because he's my dance partner on TV. Big round of applause, please. Um, also, I'd like to thank um, the Market Hotel as well. They've supported me and Alex from right from the beginning before we were on television. Um, also, ABC, Rainbows, B News, MCV Joy, everyone. Thank you so much. Um, it's been a great pleasure and thank you so much for this award. Congratulations, Adam. And thank you to Tony Pittard from Beat Bookshop for sponsoring that award, Dulcie. Lucy, darling, I was too scared mwah. to do it by himself. Why is he scared? Are you scared of me? You should be. Oh, you now, love me. Say it again. I hate you. <laughs> Stop okay. it already. Now, it's playing nice up here, Dulcie. Who are the three finalists? Outstanding Media Achievement Award, and the finalists are Troy Gurr from MCV, <laughs> Doug Pollard from Joy, and Kath Pope from MCV, and the winner is. Doug Pollard from Joy. Woo! Doug Pollard's Doug. Rainbow Report on Joy Melbourne each evening at 6.30pm brings the latest GLBTI news to Melbourne's airwaves from Australia and all over the world. If it's queer and it's grabbing headlines, Doug, Doug Pollard will no doubt cover it. Congratulations, Doug. Thank you to everybody. Um, I will keep this short. Uh, I'm not used to talking without a script. Uh, but especially thanks to my partner, Russell, who's uh, put up with me getting up at all hours of the morning to come and do this job and has supported me for the last 13 years. That's pretty much of an achievement. Russell, I owe it all to you. And of course, to everybody else at Joy. Thank you. Congratulations to Doug Pollard and a special thank you to the Exchange Hotel, to Mark and to Lucy for sponsoring that award. Now, Dulcie, Woo! this award is for a one-off event whose primary focus is our community. And I guess entertaining our community, I guess, would be good to say. Who are the five finalists? Gayaz, Melbourne. Help out. Midsummer Tea Dance. The Greyhound's 10th birthday and Ticket to Ride. And the winner is... And the winner is... Midsummer Tea Dance. The Midsummer, Midsummer Tea, Dance. Tea Dance. It's the closing event of Midsummer Festival. It's represented here tonight by President of Midsummer, Glenn Cryer. And is this, is this a bevy of beauties coming with him? I'm, I'm seeing them in silhouette. Woo! I can see Shay and Glenn. Come on down. Big hand for Midsummer Tea Dance. Yeah. thought it might be a cash prize. <laughs> no. Woo! Well, we'll see you all there. Thank you. You've been wonderful. Shay, would you like to say something? 
I'd just like to say that it's actually the community who come along to Tea Dance that make it the great event that it is. So thank you very much. You take that and you take your, your Congratulations. envelope. Congratulations. You two are just beside shame. yourselves. From Midsummer, well done. And to Brian Fruin from Heaven at 151. Absolutely. Gorgeous. Wasn't it fun? Hey. Now, darling, who I mean, are the, hey, who hey, are the hey. finalists for the Man of the Year? Oh, wow. The three finalists for the Man of the Year award this year are Vic Perry from Bent TV. <laughs> Darren Ray, the Mayor of Port Phillip. <laughs> and I hope it's Garrett Teeters. Teeters or Tetters from Pride March? Teeters. And the winner is David Allen. Who is the winner, David? Oh, we didn't even get a drum roll that time. Darren Ray. Uh, Woo! The mayor of Port Phillip. Darren Ray of the city of Port Phillip is the only openly gay mayor in Victoria. A long time gay rights lobbyist, Darren has chosen to place his sexuality on public notice Woo! this past year and as a result has achieved a much higher profile in the wider community as being openly gay. Congratulations to Darren Ray. And he's got his mayor's shoes on. The last time I was on a stage with Dulcie DeJura with a microphone on, I won't tell you how it ended, but it was pretty messy. Um, I'm really giddy and nervous, I have to say. I've been up and down like a bride's nighty in the last hour. Um, I'm deeply honoured with this award. Uh, I'm not sure whether it means I have to do a centrefold, but if it does, I'll have to uh, place an appropriately uh, and strategically placed yarmulke. Um, and we'll see whether the rabbis, orthodox rabbis, get hold of that comment tomorrow. Look, I just want to say two things. Firstly, it's not hard being openly gay when you're supported by a fantastic community. Having said that, I think in 2005 we've come a long way. And when I came out and said uh, that I was openly gay and then that I wanted kids, I expected the Christian right to absolutely come down on me like a ton of bricks. They didn't, and I think that's a sign of the resilience of this community. So a great honour. Thank you very much. I'm not sure what it means yet, but I really appreciate it. Thank you. Congratulations to Darren Ray, Wonderful Mayor of the City of Port Phillip, and to David Allen from the Laird Hotel for sponsoring that fabulous award. But to end the first half, we're going to welcome to the stage one hell of a pack of people. I speak of the uh, winners of the, the earlier award for Best Live Performance. They are, of course, the Melbourne Gay and Lesbian Chorus. But before we do that, I would like to say a big thank you to you for all of the work you've done with me this evening as being my first co-host, Miss Dulcie DeJour, ladies and gentlemen. Only to be... We are now heading, ladies and gentlemen. We're in the second half of this fabulous evening. Well, next up, Dulcie, this is the Woman of the Year. I'm in this too. <laughs> now, this one is being sponsored by Jude Dennis from Velvet Tipped Magazine. So, Jude, are you there? Come on down. Here she comes. She's here. She's Hello, getting Jude. gorgeous. She's putting her jacket on as we speak. Now, the She's Woman here. of that the Year great. Award, Jude and Dulcie, the Woman of the Year Award is for the most popular female who has contributed to the culture lifestyle or betterment of our community. So who are the finalists, Dulcie? The finalists, the three finalists for Woman of the Year are Penny McDonald Pride March, <laughs> Dr. Ruth McNair Fertility Rights, and Carol Wilkinson from Joy Melbourne. And the winner is... Carol Wilkinson, Joy Melbourne. Carol Wilkinson. Carol, come on down. Carol is the outgoing Joy Melbourne president. Her direction of Joy has ensured the organisation maintains a strong connection with the community whilst remaining responsible to commercial reality. Congratulations to Carol Wilkinson. Carol, darling, say a few words. Maybe you, sh you could present Carol with your glasses, Dulcie. Oh. Look, um, I'm, I'm a bit stunned, um, but thank you. Thank you very much to Joy. Thank you to everybody who voted. And look, it's also, it's also for Penny and Ruth because they're great participants. Thank you. Oh, Dulcie, now the Community Supporter of the Year 
is a person who's made an outstanding contribution to our GLBTI community. And it's not necessarily a GLBTI person themselves. Absolutely. A wonderful Doesn't thing, isn't it? Lots of support. Absolutely. This uh, award has been sponsored by Gay As. Is anyone here from Gay As this evening? To anyone accept coming the down? To help us present the award? No Bob one? Zach from Gay As. Okay. The oh. three finalists for the award are Ooh. Dulcie. That means Vivian's got it. You're going to, you're going to do it, okay? Vivian's gay ass. Look at her. The community supporter of the year. She was once. <laughs> the three finalists are Rachel Berger, performer. <laughs> the wonderful Mr. John Thwaites, the Deputy Premier of Victoria. <laughs> and Katie Underwood, performer. <laughs> and Viv, are you going to do it? Yep. The winner is... John Thwaites. Woo! Mr. The John Deputy Thwaites. Premier of Victoria, the wonderful Mr. John Thwaites. Oh, oh, come on, you can do better. Deputy Premier of Victoria and Minister of the Victorian and community. And I get the long way to John kiss. has shown a lot of support for the GLBTI community. This includes marching in Pride March, holding a stall at Midsummer Carnival, and liaising with the GLBTI community on many issues. As Minister for Victorian Communities, he's contributed various funding to our GLBTI community. Congratulations, Mr. John Thwaite. Well, thank you. It really is, it really is an honour. I'd uh, like to thank all the computers in my department for voting. Uh, very important. And it is great uh, to be the bride and not the bridesmaid. Thank you very much. This is great. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. And again. Congratulations, Mr John Thwaites. Congratulations. Now, okay. What's the happening? Community Hall of Fame, Dulcie. It's made possible by our major sponsor, B News. So we'd like to make welcome Tom Milosevic to present the award. Tom is the new owner of B News Publishing. Please welcome Tom Milosevic. This award acknowledges a person who for years has been contributing energy, artistic endeavor of, or ideas for the betterment of our community. Who are our three illustrious finalists? The 2005 Hall of Fame Community Award. Finalists are Melinda Edwards from Poli Police Liaison. <laughs> Colin Chrysler, Fundraiser. And Penny McDonald, Pride March. And Mr. Milosevic, the winner is... Penny McDonald, Pride March. The winner Penny is... Penny McDonald, come on down. Penny McDonald. Penny Woo! has resigned her post Hello. of co-convener of Pride March earlier this year. After 10 years of impeccable organisation, Penny has continued to support the new board and is committed to the ongoing success of Pride March into the future. Congratulations, Penny McDonald. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, we are very public figures in what we've been able to do, but it's because we have this great community, which is you, that make the events and things that we do. And Pride March is all about you and what you do and what you make it. And also I want to just, I know I can talk for as long as I want because my girlfriend <laughs> is on the sound and she won't cut me off. Congratulations to Penny McDonald of Pride March and a big thank you to Tom Milosevic from B News for sponsoring that award. <laughs> Look, it's time for some more music, ladies and gentlemen. We're very excited now to have an exciting and special performance. It's something heavenly, some heavenly action indeed. We now welcome to the stage the talented cast and crew of all of the heavenly venues in South Yarra. A fabulous number featuring stars and team members from Heaven at 151, Heaven's Door, 10 Plus and Heavenly Solutions. Oh, don't you want me, baby? I'd now like to introduce my second co-host of this evening. Please welcome, ladies and gentlemen, a Melbourne legend, the 1996 Hall of Fame winner, the one, the only, Doug Lucas. Good evening, Melbourne, how are we? 
Look, it's wonderful to have you here. You must feel like you're back at home, do you? Well, I do, actually, because, I mean, I used to work here when it was Illusions. Illusions Dinner Theatre, I remember. Yes, and then I worked here in the comedy club. Oh, you've worked here many times. Many, many times. It's like old school week and here, ladies and gentlemen. they fucked up my opening song. Oh. Now, another of our fantastic industry awards. The next one is the Drag King of the Year Award. Now, this is sponsored by the Star Hotel, represented here tonight by Alison Ash. Please make Alison welcome from the Star Hotel. Oh, behind you, behind Fabulous. you. Fabulous. Now, Doug, the finalists for Drag the King finalists. of the Year are. And I'm used to names like Miss Rita La Cock Eater or Miss Paris or Candy. This is all a change. It makes a welcome change. Bumpy. Johnny Gesh, Hugh Jockman, Outlaw, and Rocco Diamore, and our winner is... The winner is, Alison? Hugh Jockman. Hugh Jockman! Huge Jockman is a popular and regular drag king at the Star Hotel. He has done both the midsummer opening to an enormous reception and a benefit held at the Star in aid of the Asian Tsunami Appeal. Huge has performed at Pride March at Midsummer Carnival and has put on a show for Minus 18 in the past. We would like to welcome... No, this is Rocco, accepting on behalf of Huge. Yeah, this is for Huge. He's really sick in hospital at the moment, but he's a young kid and he's getting out there and we're praying for him that he gets well and everything else and he comes back to uh, King Victoria very soon. Let's hear it for Rocco, accepting on behalf of Huge Jockman, Drag King of the Year, and a special thanks to Alison from the Star Hotel for sponsoring. Oh, Doug, this is the Drag Diva of the Year. Now, this award is sponsored by DTs. So we'd like to welcome Tools Round from DTs in Richmond to help us present this award. Ah. Hello, sister. Mwah. How are you, darling? Now, listen, the people that are eligible for this award, ladies and gentlemen, for Diva of the Year, our finalists are... Dodgecom. <laughs> Laura Gravity. Regime Detol. Swish every ready. And last but not means least, Miss Vivian St. James. And the winner is. And the winner is Vivian St. James. Vivian St. James is the consummate drag diva performer. Her recent one-woman show, She Male, performed at both the Greyhound and at the market, typifies a true diva with exquisite costumes, jewellery, choreography and interpretation. Miss Vivian St. James! Um, I'll keep it brief. I just want to thank all the venues that um, I work at. Um, Adrian for making my costumes and doing all my music. Um, really does mean a lot to me, so thank you. Miss Vivian Ladies and James! Ladies and drag diva of the year. Vivian, here you are, darling. Viv, Vivian. Shall we push on? Okay. This is the Drag Show of the Year. Now, the finalists of the Drag Show of the Year award are, Doug? And a very good list it is. Firstly, the classics, Greyhound Hotel. High Five Retwisted, The Exchange Hotel. Late Night Shopping with Zoe Knox, Market Hotel. She Mail, ladies and gentlemen, Miss Vivian St. James. And of course, the show bags at Pink on a Saturday night. So, Doug, the winner of the Red Rose... I announce this? You can announce it. I get to open the envelope. The Rainbow Awards for 2005 for the best drag show of the year goes to... The Classics! 
A big round of applause for the oh, classic. here they come, Miss Paris. Here they come. Laura Gravity. No wonder they weren't out the back. Here they are. Congratulations to the classics from the Greyhound. Here to accept the award are two of the classics joined by the lovely Vivian. Three. Miss Rita La Coquita, you are required up here now. Paris, how would you like to swap that beard for a microphone? Thanks, Dougie. Rita Lecocchi, to get up here, the newest cast member of the Classics. Get up here, Rita. She ain't pretty, but she's our sister. We have got our beautiful boys out the back. Simon and Bo, come on, quickly. We're running out of time. Punters, thank you so much. We have had a wonderful, wonderful running season. Laurie said you've got six weeks, girls. But about two years later, we're still there. We are enjoying it, Laura Gravity. Dance captain extraordinaire. <laughs> Reed Lecoq Eater, along with Monica Sinclair and Adrian Wise on costumes. We've got our beautiful boys, they're out the back, but they're shy, they're still very sober. We've got the jewel and the crown of not only the uh, Greyhound Hotel, but the whole of the Melbourne drag scene. Vivian St. James. You've got myself, Paris, and I would just like to say thank you to the Greyhound, Sue, Rob, Laurie, Steve, the DJs, everybody in the bar boys who make it all wonderfully possible. And of course, our longtime suffering dresser, Jill. Thank you so much and thank you for being there on a Saturday night and supporting us. You're wonderful. Please welcome to the stage the classics, Paris. Laura Gravity and Vivian St. James, along with Simon and Bo, to bring you a moment, Doug, of pure Pokies magic. The classics. Get the point? Good. Let's dance. Well, without any further ado, let's push on with the Bitch of the Year Award. Oh, yeah. Now, this one is, is actually sponsored by Heavenly Solutions. So we'd like to welcome again Joe McLean from Heavenly Solutions to help us present this award. Please make him welcome. Now, Joey. Doug, I probably don't need to, uh, to introduce this one. It needs no explanation. But for those of us who've lost too many brain cells... Here it goes. This award honours the person with a caustic tongue and the sharpest wit, used to entertain, but also for the good of our community. Who are the finalists? And the finalists for the Bitch of the Years, ladies and gentlemen, Nova China. <laughs> My ever so youngest sister, Miss Lucy Loosebox. <laughs> the absolutely amazing Miss Paris. Adam Stobbs. She's a radio bitch. Obviously, they don't listen. They're into broadband. And, of course, last but no means least, certainly by no means least, Miss Tabitha Turlington. And, Joey, the bitch for the year is... Lucy Loosebox. <laughs> Lucy Loosebox, ladies and gentlemen. Since she first appearing, Doug... She's done very well for a boy from Warnable. That's all I can Absolutely. say. Absolutely. Since first appearing in the Saturday show in 1992, Lucy Loosebox has actually performed solitaire more than 1,500 times. She's jumped up and down on stage approximately 15 times per performance, equating to approximately 22,500 leaps. 
the exchange stage finally received some renovations and reinforcements in March of this year. Miss Lucy Loosebox! Do you know what? I'm really fucked. Um, are you having a good night? I want to say thank you to the Exchange Hotel, especially Anthony, Chris, Candy Swish, who I love you, high five, retwisted. Absolutely. Um, uh, Miss Tabitha Chellington, uh, give it up for Tabitha. Dorothy DeJour, my predecessors, that's sensational. Martin, I love you. Thank you so much. Good night. Ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together for the reigning bitch 2005, Miss Lucy Loosebox. John Michael Howson was nominated for several awards this year. John Michael has entertained the Victorian, Australian and international audiences for decades with his individual style and unique personality. The Rainbow Voting Panel felt that John Michael's contribution to the acceptance of our community by the general public made him an obvious choice when reintroducing the Lifetime Achievement Award. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you entertainer extraordinaire and winner of our Lifetime Achievement Award for 2005, Mr. John Michael Housen. Once in my life, I'm speechless. I must, I am speechless. I, and I'm close to tears. Unbelievable. So thank you very, very much. I'm, I can't, I'm humbled by this. But I'm so glad it bears the name of Jan Hillier. If I've been able to contribute anything to the, to the world we live in, our community, whatever... It's been because I have been supported by wonderful people in the shows that I've worked on. Too many to mention, but I must say Mike Walsh, who just said, go for it, kid. And he didn't care how gay I was, how camp or whatever, go ahead. And I had the privilege of writing for Graham Kennedy. And that was something, a lesson to me, because I saw Graham who was just a wonderful man to me. I can't say how wonderful and encouraging he was, but he was living in a closet. And I thought, I will never do that. Never. Because there is a price to pay. And I think Graham really paid it. So I was, that was an example. I thought, oh, God, you know, this wonderful man who was a sweetheart living in this terrible sort of secret world. And I thought, no, I can never do that. And so I'm very, very honoured to accept this award and more than thrilled that it bears the name of Jan Hillier. Thank you very much. Doug, it's yes. time for the big grand finale of these wonderful it's awards. It's almost a countdown, isn't it? It is a countdown. And seriously, we're not going to give them much time. So we now need to, of course, announce the wonderful Hall of Fame Entertainment Award for the Rainbows 2005. Another award in honour of Jan Hillier, the Hall of Fame Entertainment for 2005. This award has been sponsored by Gay Matchmaker. So please, Scott Ebsworth from Gay Matchmaker, if you're in the building, come on down. So I'd like to thank Scott Ebsworth from Gay Matchmaking for sponsoring the event. Absolutely. And our finalists are, ladies and gentlemen, the three finalists. <laughs> overcome, Excuse Doug, you're me. overcome. I'm all overcome with emotion. <laughs> yeah. The three finalists the are... The three finalists are Kevin Atwood. Let's hear it for Kevin Atwood from The Exchange. Yeah. Maybe I should have said Fat Alice because they didn't know who Kevin Atwood was. John Michael Hollywood Housen. Let's hear it for John Michael Housen. And of course, a woman without no equal... The fabulous Miss... So the winner of this award, Scott... Goes to... It's a dead heat. 
the Jan Hillier Entertainment Hall of Fame Award goes to Paris and Ka Kevin Atwood. These two legendary icons of the business. Congratulations to Paris and Kevin Atwood. It's a dead heat, Paris. How wonderful. A few words from Paris first. Oh, boys and girls, thank you so, so very much. Thank you. Thank you, Jane Hillier. Hunters, I would like to thank all the venues and venue owners I've worked in over the years. Thank you very fucking much. Thank you. Okay, all that and more. Um, I'm sure Kevin would like to thank everyone. He couldn't be here because he does have a cut foot, but um, I'm sure he thanks everyone. Thanks. Thank you, Mark. And thank you to Paris. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's hear it, please. Combined Paris. winners of and the Hall of Fame Hotel. Entertainment Award. Let's hear it. We'll see you hopefully next year, Doug. Now, this has been a huge night. And uh, I believe that the end is in sight. We're ready to go. So thank you to all who've been involved in producing this extraordinary event. And a big thanks to our queer media, Queer Melbourne and Bent TV, both of whom have been broadcasting from this event. Congratulations to all of the nominees this evening. Each and every one of you is deserving of an award. To be nominated and recognised by your peers in this way is an incredible achievement. Well done. To all the winners, a big congratulations and don't stop doing whatever it is you're doing so well. Riff. Riff.